distinguished, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, colleagues. Uh, it's a privilege to be here and present a view on political and military situation of Poland. I would, I'd like to speak uh, in a different context than my colleague from government. Uh, rather about policy and military actions and another NATO summit than of industry and um, our capacities uh, in uh, development of uh, military industry. I believe the mission of the Warsaw Security Forum, which enhance understanding of European and NATO security policy, would be valuably accomplished by the dialogue between both policymakers and academics. It is obvious that each country understands security issues in a unique way due to its geopolitical position, but I hope this year's forum will foster a spirit of collaboration for meaningful discussion of past, current, and future international security issues. The concept of security policy should be based on the will and the structures. Let me say a few words on the situation around Poland and on the will of Poland, Polish people and of us, of all, uh, of all of us. The policy of deterrence, together with the modern technique, military doctrines and well-trained army should be completed by the efficient diplomacy. We also should not forget about the moral about, among policymakers, military commanders, soldiers, and civil population. Before annexation of Crimea, many people and whole nations had believed that the time of traditional conflicts is gone forever. Instability would be found somewhere far away from our borders. Any indications of conventional threats had been treated merely as conventions of passing world order. However, military conflicts have not disappeared after the end of the Cold War. Its background and intensity has just changed. Along the, along the perimeter of, of the Mediterranean, Black Sea, and foot of Caucasus, there are a number of regional conflicts, hotspots, at so-called frozen conflicts. Tensions are also observed in the Baltic Sea region. They destabilize the situation of NATO's eastern and southern flank. The conflict between Russia and Ukraine has significantly changed the security situation in Europe. We have faced the situation where Russia has expanded its territory at the expense of another state by the use of force. Facing such challenges, we, we must be committed to demonstrate a solidarity, unity, and readiness of the alliance to respond adequately. NATO is enhancing its collective deterrence and defense in a comprehensive manner. At the Wales and Warsaw summits, we not only made specific decisions in this regard, but also accepted it as our long-term political objective. The key result of the Warsaw summit, NATO summit, has been the strengthening of deterrence and defense posture, including the decision to establish an enhanced forward presence of multinational NATO forces in Poland and the Baltic states. We see that a precondition and necessary step for increased security on the eastern flank. We are striving to ensure the security of Poland, deepening the international military cooperation as well as maintaining our own defense capabilities. Poland keeps its military spending at the level of 2% of GDP. As a result, the level of Polish defense spending is growing year by year. We invest in the Polish forces modernization process which is related to a new equipment procurement programs. We have a will to stand by our allies. We know what means solidarity. We are conscious of a price of freedom. Thank you for your attention.